my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here, and today we find ourselves in the jungle as animal advisors to President Puma. Are you secretly a leaker trying to undermine Puma? Or are you a loyalist trying to figure out who those leakers are and stop them? Play politics as animals in a game of deduction, deception, and manipulation. Republic of Jungle is a social deduction party game for 5 to 10 players, takes 10 to 60 minutes to play. Now, it's on Kickstarter right now, so I'm going to show you how the game works, and I'll see you on the other side. Now the version of the software I'm showing you here is a prototype. This is for the Kickstarter preview, but the final version of the game is gonna have an improved user experience and user interface with improved art and animations. You can go check the Kickstarter link in the description of the video to see more of what the final look will look like. Republic of Jungle is for five to 10 players, and you can play it in the same room with people, or you can play it remotely. Similar to the, sort of the popular Jackbox games, you only need one copy of this game for all players to play. The core mechanisms of the game are inspired by the tabletop game The Resistance Avalon, but Republic of Jungle adds a new layer of unique mechanisms that are only possible because each player has a secret device in their hand. You'll set up the game, and then you'll give the room code to all the other people that are playing. Now, if you're playing remotely, you'll also be having this specific version of the game on your computer, and you'll be sharing the screen with others. And everyone else is gonna be joining from their phone, typing in the room code to join the game. But let's first show you an introduction of what's going on in the Republic of Jungle. Yet another leak from the Lighthouse today shows how unpopular President Puma is among his own staff. Puma says he will sniff them out, but apparently he has lost his sense of smell. Join me tonight for an intriguing story which is really for pure entertainment and massive ad revenue, but we'll pretend we care. You do too. This is Fiona Fox from JBC News. We'll be back after the commercials. Look at this mess. We need to protect ourselves before it's too late. Find out who's responsible for these leaks and stop them. The fate of our administration lies in your hands. So Republic of Jungle is a social deduction game full of discussion, deception, accusation, and logic deduction, and they're all equally important. And they're all part of the fun, so don't take it personal if your best friend manages to successfully fool you. Now in the game, you're going to find yourself on one of two teams, secretly. You're either going to be the loyalists, or the leakers. If you're the loyalists, you're trying to figure out who the leakers are and avoid putting them on task forces. And the loyalists are trying to deliver three of the five tasks to successfully win. And you're trying to protect the identity of the agent. Now, if you're on the leakers team, you're gonna try to act like loyalists so you can get on the task forces and leak the tasks. If you fail three of the five tasks, well, the leakers are going to win, and you're trying to figure out the identity of the agent as well, assuming they're in the game. This is a battle between loyalists and leakers. We still don't know who the leakers are, but the leakers themselves know each other because they all work for Fiona Fox. This may give them an advantage, but I'm sure we can outwit them if we all pay close attention to every activity. So the game is very simple. Each round there'll be a leader, and that leader is going to propose a task force to work on the current task. Then all the other players are going to talk about who they trust, who they don't trust, and eventually going to vote on the proposed task force, meaning the one that the leader proposed, are they going to go on the task or not? If the majority upvotes the team, the task force is approved, and they'll work on the task. Otherwise, the team's rejected, and another player becomes the leader, and they're going to propose a task force, so on and so forth. Now, you can't just keep denying the task force because there's a president's deadline. Each time a proposed task force is rejected, the deadline goes down by one, and if it reaches zero, the president is impeached and the leakers automatically win the game, so you can't just keep voting down teams. Now, once the task force is ready, the players on that selected task force will work on the task. Now, if the player is a loyalist, they can only cooperate, but if the player is a leaker, they can either leak or they can cooperate in order to gain trust with the loyalists. Now let's talk about roles. There are two basic roles in the game and multiple special roles that give the players 
with that role's special abilities. For the basic roles, there's a staffer. And this basic role is on the loyalist team, and they have no inherent special abilities or info. Now the informant, they're the basic role on the leakers team, and they also have no special abilities, but as I mentioned earlier, they'll know who all the other leakers are. Now earlier I talked about the agent, that's one of the main special roles. The agent is on the loyalists team, and they get to see who all the leakers are, but the leakers don't get to see who the agent is. And so this info comes with a caveat. The leakers are trying to figure out who is the agent, because in the end of the game, if the leakers lose, they'll get one last chance to end the game and win by pointing out who the agent is. So who seems to know who all the leakers are? This means that if you're the agent, you'll be playing in a way that's not obvious and that you don't really have perfect information, but you're trying to cleverly guide people to figure out who the leakers are. Now, another special role is the testifier. Now, they're on the leakers team, and the testifier is the player who gets at the end of the game to choose who they think the agent is on the loyalist side, of course, after consulting with their team at the end of the game. Now, one of the great aspects of having this game be electronic is People can get secret information in interesting ways. One of the special roles is the trustee. Now they're on the loyalists team and they're gonna secretly get two names on their mobile device. One of them is the agent on the loyalists team and one is the faker on the leakers team. And this trustee must figure out which one is the real agent and protect their identity while they lead their team to victory. So on the other side of that, the extra special role of the fakers on the leakers team and the faker is the player whose name the trustee received as a candidate for being the agent, as I just mentioned, and they're trying to fool the trustee into thinking they're the real agent and use that in the leakers team's advantage. Another special role is the mole. Now they're on the leakers team, but the mole remains hidden to the agent. Now remember before I said the agent gets to see who all the leakers are, but they don't get to see who the mole is, so they don't know if that, if that player's on the leakers team or if they're on their team. They won't know, so he sort of hides from the agent there. There's also powers in the game. Now, whenever a task is leaked and failed, a special power will be given to a random player on the loyalist team to sort of help them out. And they can use that power and see the results in secret on their device. But also, the agent will never receive a power, so claiming a power is equal to saying, you're not the agent. And remember, this is important because at the end of the game, if the loyalist had won, the leakers get to try to figure out who was the agent, point to them, and win and flip the tables on them. If the loyalists are able to complete three tasks, they win. Otherwise, if the leakers leak three tasks, they win. Now, the Kickstarter backers will actually get access to the closed beta right after the campaign ends, so you can immediately start playing the game. Now, Republic of Jungle is a very convenient game to play, and it's easy to play with a large group because it's easier to get everyone to jump right in, either together or remotely, and there's no need for moderators closing eyes or reaching out to switch cards because everything's done on your mobile device, and people don't make accidental mistakes that could possibly ruin the game. And as I mentioned, some special powers will activate at certain times during gameplay and they'll deliver some sort of secret ability like reveal a player's role or exchange some information with a teammate and some other cool stuff. Now the game is first launching on the PC, but consoles and smart TVs are going to be next. And remember, only one copy is needed for the entire group so your friends don't have to buy the game. And not only can you play remotely or in person, but it's also built for streaming with a built-in audience engagement features. It's also newbie friendly with a narrated tutorial and guided experience. There's also a stretch goal for an online mode via a public lobby. Well, there you have the Republic of Jungle. And as I showed in the overview, it's a social deduction game that you can play in person, remotely, or in a combination of those. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the project and see the different pledge levels, you can click the link below me in the description of this video. That will take you directly to the Kickstarter project page. And I'm sure the creators of Republic of Jungle would love your support.